So let's finish up here on 7.2 um, with our trig uh, functions of real numbers with some examples. Um, remember that's quad 1, that's quad 2, quad 3, and quad 4. we got to remember where everything's positive and negative. All other positive here. Sine and cosecant are positive here. And everything else is negative. Tangent is positive um, in the bottom, but everything else is negative. Cosine and secant are positive, um, but everything else. So all students take calculus, apple, soda, toga, cow, however you want to remember it. All students take calculus. There you go. So for this problem right here, use the fundamental identities. Where is tangent negative and sine positive? The only other place that sine's positive is in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So that means this has to be in quadrant two because in quadrant one, everything is positive. So when we go to draw our picture here, I know that tangent is opposite, which is three over adjacent, which is negative four. So I need to find out what that is by doing the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so that's 3 squared plus negative 4 squared, so it's 9 plus 16, so it's 25, so I get 5. So to find all this, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, 3 over 5. Cosine um, oh, I guess I just wanted to find, to find the value of the, the trig functions. I guess we just are finding sine then. Uh, but we could find cosine here as well would be negative four-fifths, and we already know tangent is negative three um, f over four, and then you can just find the reciprocal. So um, over here, cosecant would be th uh, five over three, um, secant would be five over negative four, and uh, cotangent would be negative four over three. But over here now, where is sine negative and secant positive? Okay, well, secant is positive wherever cosine is positive. So where is cosine positive? Cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So that's how I know this goes down in quadrant 4. So that means opposite is 5 over hypotenuse, which is 13. And this should actually be there, negative 5 going down and 13 there. But either way, it's not going to affect your answer. 5 squared is 25, 13 squared is 169, I minus 25 on both sides to get 12 um, as my answer there. So uh, define cosine here. The cosine is adjacent, or sorry, adjacent, which is 12 over hypotenuse, which is negative 13. Um, but remember down here, that's why it's supposed to be positive um, because um, cosine is positive down here so it's a positive 12 over 13 for your answer for this one so just taking a look here again I switched them back so that they're right that's down 5 that's 13 we already did all this work um, but just wanted to make sure so yes it's 12 over 13 and secant would be 13 over 12 then find all the values of the six trig functions if that's on the unit circle um, well we can find out um, if that's in the unit circle by doing what we did in the last section that x squared plus y squared equals 1 so if you square this and square this and add them together it does actually equal 1 because when you square this you get uh, 225 when you square this you get 64 and 225 plus 64 is 289 and that's what 17 squared is so it would be 289 over 289 which is 1 since this is on the unit circle that's x and that's y. So cosine is x, sine is y. Cosine is x, sine is y. Tangent is y over x. So all we need to do is, if that's cosine, that's sine, then tangent is that divided by that, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's 8 over 17 times 17 over negative 15. They cross out, giving you negative 8 over 15 for tangent. So we know what cosine is. To flip it, we get secant, which is 17 over 15. We know sine is 8 over 17, so we flip it to get cosecant, which is 17 over 8. Sorry, that was secant. Tangent is basically just going to be the tops, but either way, um, 8 over negative 15, but you flip that to get cotangent, which is negative 15 over 8. 3 pi over 2 lands right here, which is 0 and negative 1 right, because that's 3 pi over 2, 
So since it falls on 0, negative 1, and that's on the unit circle, x is cosine, y is sine. So cosine is 0, um, sine is negative 1. Tangent is negative 1 over 0, which can't happen, so it's undefined. Cosine is um, 0. So you flip that to find secant, which is 1 over 0, but that's undefined. Sine is negative 1. When you flip that, you're still going to get negative 1. Tangent is negative 1 over 0, but when you flip that, you're actually going to get that cotangent is 0. Negative 7 uh, pi over 2. You go around one whole time in the negative direction, right? That would be 2 pi. This would be 3 pi. 3 pi is also like saying 6 pi over 2, so I go one more step to be 7 pi over 2. So it's negative 7 pi over 2, which is 0, 1. Remember, it's on the unit circle. x is cosine, y is sine. So cosine is 0, sine is 1. Tangent is 1 over 0 because it's y over x or sine over cosine. Well, that's undefined. So to find the rest, you just flip them. So cosine is 0, you flip that to get 1 over 0 for secant, but that is undefined. Sine is 1, but when you flip 1, you get 1, so cosine, cosecant is 1. And tangent is 1 over 0. When you flip that, you end up getting 0 over 1, which cotangent is 0. So negative 3 pi over 4, uh, we just want to remove the negatives, uh, but remember cosine of a negative number doesn't matter um, what it is, so it's just 3 pi over 4. The reference angle there is pi over 4, which is your middle finger, so that's root 2 over 2 because there's two fingers to the right. Um, tangent, you take that negative out, that's a 45 degree finger, so that is still the middle finger, so that's the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, which is 1, but you so square root 2 over square root 2 is 1, but you have the negative out in front, and there you are. So if you have any questions or concerns, please email me or let me know.